1938, Bill Wilson, the co-founder of Alcoholics Anonymous, began to write what would become the first edition of the big book. He realized that he had discovered a way to help alcoholics get sober that actually worked. Those early days were a hand-to-mouth affair that required outside assistance if the group was going to survive. Bill Wilson's book would allow their program to reach men that couldn't get to meetings or find a fellow alcoholic to work with in their recovery attempts. The first two chapters were sent out, and the publishing house, Harper & Brothers, offered Bill in advance. But in the end, Wilson's group decided to publish the book themselves. As each chapter was completed, the small group of sober alcoholics in New York, where Bill lived, would read them over, sometimes tearing the various paragraphs down to their foundations and sending them back to Bill for a rewrite. Finally, a select group of editors, including sober alcoholics who had worked at publications like the New Yorker and the New York Daily News, would go over the final draft. Bill recalls, I relaxed and asked for guidance. With the speed that was astonishing, considering my jangled emotions, I completed the first draft. It took perhaps half an hour. The words kept right on coming. When I reached a stopping point, I numbered the new steps. They added up to 12. And here they are. Number one, we admitted we were powerless over alcohol, that our lives had become unmanageable. Number two, came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. Number three, made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood Him. Number four, made a searching and fearless moral inventory of ourselves. Number five, admitted to God, to ourselves, and to another human being the exact nature of our wrongs. Number six, were entirely ready to have God remove all these defects of character. Number seven, humbly ask Him to remove our shortcomings. Number eight, made a list of all persons we had harmed and became willing to make amends to them all. Number nine, made direct amends to such people whenever possible, except when to do so would injure them or others. Number ten, continue to take personal inventory, and when we were wrong, promptly admit it. Number 11. Sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understood Him, praying only for knowledge of His will for us and the power to carry that out. Number 12. Having had a spiritual awakening as the result of these steps, we tried to carry this message to alcoholics and to practice these principles in all our affairs. The new book, Alcoholics Anonymous, was published in April of 1939, with an additional press run of less than 5,000 copies. By 1944, there were roughly 10,000 members of Alcoholics Anonymous spread throughout 400 groups. Two years later, that number had tripled. In 1953, the book 12 Steps and 12 Traditions was published, codifying the foundation stones for the program. Incidentally, 1953 is also the year that the second largest 12-step group, Narcotics Anonymous, was formed. As word of AA and NA, Narcotics Anonymous, began to spread, so too did the hope offered by the steps the program used. Other programs eventually followed. 
Gamblers Anonymous was established in Los Angeles in 1957. Neurotics Anonymous for Recovery from Emotional and Mental Illness was founded in Washington, D.C. in 1964. Debtors Anonymous and Sex and Love Addicts Anonymous were both formed in 1976. Today, there are dozens of 12-step groups for a myriad of addictions and life problems programs, all of them patterning their recovery after the 12 steps originally conceived of by those early members of AA. Today, it's estimated that there are more than 2 million members of AA spread across more than 120,000 groups around the world. Narcotics Anonymous meetings are held 67,000 times weekly in 139 countries across the planet. And those are just the top two-step groups. Given their proliferation, the success of the steps as imagined one night by Bill Wilson in 1938 is incalculable. For more information concerning addiction, contact us at the Institute for Addiction Study. Our link is in the description.